Hey, this is Mark the Meerkat with Croc Trade in for D7 with the weekly review. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how I traded DWAC this week on Thursday. Five different trades. If you want to see that one, who doggies, what a wild day that was. So let's take a look here at the broad market review first. First, we have the S&P 500 here on the daily chart, and here we did. We've got, we were up here in a rising wedge. We pulled, did a 5% pullback, and then rolling right back up, hitting new all-time highs here on Thursday, and then just dogeed out here on Friday. So we are now at a new all-time high close on the S&P, so we're right back where we were back here when the last on the last high here was in uh, uh, September 21. So nice bull pullback taking off from there. Uh, DIA, very similar. This is the Dow Jones Industrial here. It, it's all-time high here. Did a five, uh, about a 5% pullback right back up here. And then on Friday, boom, new all-time high here on the, on, the, on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. A new close on the daily chart. Cool, 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 isn't it? But now the Russ, the uh, now the Nasdaq here, it uh, it was running, running, running. It pulled back about uh, a little bit more than the five percent. In fact, let's measure that right here, from its high here. Down, whoops, down to um, it's low right there. It was more of a eight percent pullback here on the S and P 500, and. And so uh, it has not come all the way back up yet. So again, a little bit weaker in tech, uh, but we are definitely in a pullback and it's still in up there mode. It did struggle a little bit on Friday, but uh, nice recovery back above the moving averages here on the NASDAQ tech stocks. Now, a whole different story all along has been the small cap Russell here. It's just been going sideways here for it for a long, long time, not even coming close to its uh, uh, its all-time high up here. And, and we see it has been a it's been a symmetrical triangles, uh, small and large. We'll see it in, uh, in a weekly charts here in a moment. And look at that here. Uh, it was in a symmetrical triangle. It did break out here la last week here, but it's still under these these highs here. Bank, however, has broken out. It is, was also lagging for a long, long time. Broke out and now is at a new all-time high close here for the uh, on the daily chart. And uh, let's go ahead and put it right up there on Friday. Boom, we're up here. We're now above 5,000 on the bank index. Now that's a index of over 750 regional banks, all the banks, not just the the, uh, the big boys and girls there. Now the VIX here, again, this is a contrary index here. It is down back here right to the 15. In fact, on Friday we were in 14 for a while. So, we, you know, closed at 15.4. But that's nice. When we can be down here in a complacent area again after spending so much time here above 20, uh, that has been a little bit less volatility in the markets. Uh, where's Bitcoin here? Um, again, it racket, went up here, up here to what was the high here? Uh, let me see. High was at 67,016. 67,016 there. And it has pulled back a little bit. And again, this is trading live here right now here at uh, just after 12 noon on Saturday. And it, um, it's right here at, uh, one, at, at 61,465. Uh, there goes the ETH here. Uh, it's, it ran up there, but it's basing here just under the 4200, right? 4104 as we speak. So, and then here was the big, big stock of the week here. It was DWAG, uh, the Digital World Appli Ac Acquisition Corporation here, the, the Trump thing. Look at that puppy. Look at that puppy. What, what kind of a week was it for that one? Well, we'll look at the weekly chart here, but look at on this day here, uh, it, it, uh, Thursday, which is what I'm going to show you five trades of for a little bit later here, uh, on Thursday alone, it was up 356%, 356% just on Thursday. Had shorts, was trading rather regularly. Then on Friday, look at that, overnight, it was... It, it opened up here up 80% or more and then it look at it wicked all the way up there and pulled all the way back uh, so for the week uh, it was it closed at uh, it at 94 uh, 20 here up 845 percent but if you conclude this wick all the way up here it was up on Friday it was up over a thousand percent for the week and then it did pull back here uh, so incredible now on yesterday Friday's trading there were no shorts available as it were on Thursday and um, uh, and it got halted many times uh, uh, during the day 
uh, the on on Thursday it didn't start getting halted until the afternoon so I was able I just do day trading in the morning in the Grok day trading chat room and that's where it uh, uh, we, we made some real money and I'll show you that in a few minutes here so that was the that was the darling of the and on Friday there were three other stocks when it was up over a thousand percent on Friday um, fun uh, P H U N for funware it was up over a thousand percent and then started to drop with no shorts so there were several very active stocks on Friday Friday. And we're talking, it would move, their candles would move uh, 13, 14 percent in, in a flash, and then it could get halted again, and then it open up and get flashed, and you know, it'd go one way or the other. So, very hard ones to trade on Friday. But I'm going to show you five trades here on that. So, again, if you like what you're seeing here uh, with Brock Trade, you know, please uh, go down there and, and, you know, hit the like button and subscribe to us. So let's go back a little bit here, and let's take a look here at the weekly charts here uh, on uh, these different ones here. And uh, let's start with the S&P 500. You can see, the, you can clearly see the bull pull back here, and it's gone all the way back up here uh, to the new highs and uh, of of uh, uh, new all-time highs there on the SPY. Dow Jones Industrial, you can see it not quite as distinctively. It is also doing a bull pull back here after this rising wedge. And then we have the NASDAQ here doing a bull pullback, but not quite back up to its all-time highs on the weekly chart. And there you can see here, look how clear this is. This is a, called a bull pennant. It's a symmetrical triangle here on the weekly chart after a nice run up here uh, back at the end of 2020. Uh, and now it's 2021. It's just been basing here all year long, waiting for it to break out above that major line of resistance there. And then bank as well was lagging here. It ran up, but was stuck in this tight area here since for most of since uh, January. And finally, it broke out here. Now on the weekly chart, you know we have some new all-time high closes there, and we'll readjust it right there. All right, and that's it. All right, so let's shift gears a little bit. First of all, who am I? I'm Mark the Meerkat. I've been with Grok Trade here now, um, almost 10 years now. I, I run the Grok Day Trading chat room. I am also uh, one of the key, one of the mentors for the 301 Mentoring Program, and I'm an analyst and everything else here. So I'm in for Des, who's meeting with his investors in his uh, hedge fund right now, and so that's why I'm doing the video today. But I want to do a bit extra bonus here. I'm going to show you five different trades on DWAC that I did on Thursday the 21st. Thursday the 21st, again, it was it was trading more steadily and it, it wasn't getting halted and it, it had shorts that day so I'm going to show you five trades through four longs and one short here so let's take a look at that so I'm going to switch over here now to a, a one minute chart on the D uh, this is on D this is on the digital world acquisition company this is the uh, the uh, acquisition company who wants to set up new um, uh, social media for Trump and his campaign and I don't care. I just want to. I trade the chart. I don't trade what the politics are behind any particular stock. But let's see if we can make some money on this. Now, this first trade was a pre-market trade. Now, in my Grok Day Trading chat room, I do not call pre-market trades, but I was in this one. I was the only one in the room at the time. And here was the setup. Uh, we have here the uh, this was a a high base here or a, uh, a, a ascending triangle. Again, you go to freeonlinetradingeducation.com to our free chart school. It will show all the trading patterns that I do use in the Grok Day Trading chat room here and the breakouts from them. So I'm waiting for it to break out above this area here. This is pre-market. So I'm ready to go. And boom, it goes up here and it pops in. And on my pre-market trade, I'm in at 1174, 1174. I'm in here and immediately pops up here, hits it, hits it, hits it, head at $12. It pulls back, but it's staying right on this 200 moving average. Now, in pre-market, stops don't work, so I have to have a sell order ready to go, uh, and, and I use limit orders to sell because I'm and I'm watching this like a fox here in pre-market, and it's riding along this 200 moving average that pops up, keeps hitting this $12, so I uh, I'm getting ready to get out of this one here, and boom, it pops back up again here, and it now it's hitting up here, it hit the 12.40 pulled and. Uh, it's resting up here for a while and uh, right there. So I went ahead and I took it out. Uh, again, it's pre-market. The things can move pretty quickly and it sure enough, it dropped real quickly. Now, it doesn't look like much there, but that was a 2% snap back there in just two minutes. But I did get out here at, uh, at 12.25 for 4.3% on the first trade. All right, so now that we, we're going to move forward here. And uh, this was still pre-market, pre-market. And here it was just before the market opened. It was high basing there. And uh, again, we're setting up for the and watching other things here, but we're, we're critically watching this one. So what happened here was, uh, uh, it was it did a high base here, uh, just after opening. 
I was ready to go long and it popped out here I got in long and look at that it wicked up and it came all the way back that's a 2% wick on it 2.3% I got in it stopped up 2.3% and I pulled my stop up and because um, it was up over 2% right away and and it snapped back and got me actually on that wick there I got stopped out here I was I was long at 1356 uh, and then I immediately snapped back and got me out at 1367 uh, for 0.8 percent in about 15 seconds so that was a very quick trade but you know but the wick on the, look at the range of this entire candle was four percent it broke out and pulled back that's a four percent range on the candle I have a one percent attached stop in my in my trades and I was considering going to a, a half a lot size and using a two percent stop but at this point I did not do that uh, so then what happened after that pull back here he's using this 1350 as support so I set up a short that again there were shorts available on Thursday uh, I was ready to go short if it broke below this 1350 uh, and sure enough bam it fell down and I got in right here I'm in at short at uh, 1341 bam 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 fell down here right to this area we can look at that it was resistance here just in pre-market came right down to here and started to stall there my rules say if it stalls I take out I do half out so I took out half here I covered half at 1286 for 4.3 percent on the first half and then uh, I was sitting there resting a little while bringing my stop down just above this uh, 8 EMA and the and what the 20 moving average was right there as well and it just popped up above that right there boom I'm out the second half at uh, 1303 for 2.8 percent of the second half so this total trade was for 3.6 percent in just eight minutes wow okay so I went ahead and I set up another one here is it going to high base now is it reversed here and if it went if it's going to break out I want to get in again and sure enough here it goes it it high based here it did break out but we were trading some other things at this point then it was basing here right at 1350 and so I had the trade ready to go boom it pops out here and look at the volume that came in and I'm in here at 13 uh, 63 1363 I'm long on that and boom it immediately pops up again it may not look like much but right there this wick it this range of this candle here is is what 3.8 percent 3.8 percent is the range on that single candle on the breakout cool cool bringing my stop up here to break even right away getting a half a trade set up to get out because here eat 14 even dollar that was resistance back here could be resistance here on the even dollar amount again remember these numbers I started at eleven dollars on my first trade wait till we see some of these numbers later in the day look at it and it ran up it ran up it ran up here bringing my stop up here just under that fourteen even dollar and what happened and then what does it do on the next one it snaps back here that ended up being a three point seven percent pullback and so it's resting right here I said I'm gonna go ahead and, and cover and take out half here um, if it's getting ready to fall so I, I took out half at uh, 14 17 for four percent on the first half on the first half of that long and I set my stop up here just under that pivot line it, it started to go we look at it wicked all the way up and then what it do bam drop down and stop me out at 14 14 so uh, that's gonna happen I guess uh, for 3.7 percent on the second half so this total trade was for 3.8 percent in just nine minutes Oh well, that's okay. I <laughs> love it when that happens. So then we were in it for we were waiting for a while here, and it went up here. Now it's basing here at 15 even dollar amount, at 15 even dollar amount, but it's basing there quite a while, and then it just it just kind of stayed in this range between uh, 15 and 14 dollars. Uh, wasn't any tradable patterns, and now it's setting up here an ascending triangle, an ascending triangle. It's getting higher swing lows here, and didn't draw that quite right. And here we go higher swing low is here as it's basing here just under 15 so I set a trade up to above $15 now again it had wicked up to here so that's about where I set my trade was up there that had to go beyond that point I can look at the range on this candle that is a six percent six percent it popped to a new high and dropped six percent yeah that's that that's a little bit volatile there isn't it so let's go ahead and and see I had my trade ready to go boom I'm in and I'm in there right now at uh, at at 1526. 1526. I'm in long here, and immediately because again this is a big candle as well, five percent, five percent candle there. This thing was moving quickly, and again if it moves ten percent or more in, in three minutes, it will get halted in one way, you know. So uh, it, the circuit breaker will kick in. So I pull my stop up here. Uh, uh, again, my one percent stop was here. I'm pulling it up to break even right away. 
and let's see where it goes from there and now it high bases up here look at that so I'm in and my rules say what if it if it stalls look at one one two well one two three four five of them there if it stalls for three or four minutes I'm going to take out half so I went ahead and I took out half here I had uh, 1574 for 3.1% on that first half. Now the, this is how you let your winners run. I don't know what's going to happen next. It's all about odds and probabilities, but it's a high base and it's on lower volume. That's likely to take off probability wise. We'll see. So I set my stop and we, here we go. Boom. Now then, it's nice to run up here. So I was going to take a break. Uh, I was, it was pretty intense training. This is after the first hour of training. It's around 10.30 market time. And uh, so I went ahead and I set a stop. at it in the money stop here. And I set it at uh, at 16.14. 16.14. I set a stop here below the 8 EMA. And uh, it's way up. It's up here. That, that would have to pull back almost 4% to get my out there, right? So um, uh, so I went ahead and I just went and got some coffee. And while I was away, look what happened. It pulled back here and came within one penny. It bounced off the 15. It bounced off the, uh, um, right there, one penny within my stop. And then it and then it pulled, pulled right back up. So it was a 4% drop within a penny and it started to roll up. I wasn't even here, so yep, no reaction here. Sometimes you're 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 lucky, and sometimes you're good and lucky, right? So uh, I just happened to put that in the right place, and then look at that. From there, at pullback up to there alone, that's a seven percent run into three candles. So glad I had it there, right? And so we go back, and we're sitting here. Uh, okay, now we're now we're just letting our winner run. It stalled at eighteen dollars, and then boom, it broke out. And here it is now, basing here at eighteen fifty. So I'm bringing my stop up, bringing my stop up here. Um, under the $18 here, um, under 18 even dollar amount, and uh, look at that stretch up here almost at $20. Now it's it now that may not look like much, but at the time that was six percent six percent away from the 8 EMA. That's called overextended. So I'm bringing my stop up here. I'm I'm close to that 8 EMA here. Again, it's six percent away. Price action was at the top of that wick. It started to pull back here, and then bam, it dropped down here and stopped me out. And my fill was at 18.38 for ready for this 20.4 percent on that second half so let's look at this last trade real quickly here it was an ascending triangle broke out when it stalled I took out my half according to my rules I did not know it was going to continue to run for another 17 percent before I got stopped out and again what's how big a drop was that set look at that that candle was a seven percent drop a seven percent drop on that one candle Oh, but Mark, you, you could have gotten out 7% higher than your 20%. Yeah, but hey, I'm real happy with 20% on the second half. So this total last trade here was for 11.8% in 27 minutes. hoo -ah. so, so we have all five of these trades together now. Uh, we had 24.4% for the for, again, we can clean that pre-market trade here, and so we ended up with an incredible day in our Grok Day Trading chat room. Uh, these are the net percentages that we had for the day here. Again, here's the the, the DWAC trade I just showed you. Uh, uh, the the, the 0 0.8, the point, uh, 3.6, the 3.9, and then that 11% trade there, and uh, and that was uh, so for the day in the Grok Day Trading chat when we were at 21%. Yeah, now that's not of our portfolio. That's of how much will you invest in each trade. So if we have a ten thousand dollar lot size, and like like in our uh, model portfolio, that we made about two thousand dollars there, trading for two hours in the market. We just only trade for the first two hours of the market. So, and an eighty-five percent success rate. Yeah, I only had seven trades, uh, and my actual reward risk ratio was at six point nine. It's an absolute insane day. This is not do not think of it's typical. But we've had an, a great week again because that volatility is down. We've been able to get more steady at trades here. And look at that. We were on as of Thursday, we were at fifty seven percent net for the week, which exceeds our fifty percent stretch goal for the entire week, and we still had Friday to to trade and uh, at 81% success rate so outstanding um, you know this these 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 statistics here are not typical but boy it certainly is not great when we can get days like that so so this is mark the meerkat again if this was valuable to you check out my 
the Grok Day Trading chat room at uh, groktrade.com, groktrade.com, then go to chat room, and you can get a seven-day risk-free trial if you'd like to join me if you're available in front of the markets between 9.30 and uh, 11.30 uh, Eastern Time, or a.k.a. Market Time. So until then here, trade safely, trade well, and may your winners run. Woohoo! What a day! Bye-bye.